Guys, right, so this is now officially the tiebreaker. Let me get a drum roll, please. What's up, guys? Your boy L checking, and look, it's another beautiful day in Cali. Today, we're gonna talk about something that I get asked a lot. Medellin or Cali, which one should I go to? Look, I'm gonna give you guys all the advice I got, and it really comes down to one thing, but you gotta stick around and find out what that one thing is. Let's do it. I'm gonna break this video down into five parts. I'm gonna give five parts that we're gonna go over one by one to see which city I think, in my opinion, is better at that specific topic. And those five things are gonna be nightlife, food, things to do, prices, and weather. So how we gonna do this is, if I think Medellin is better at one of those topics, I'm gonna give a point to Medellin. And if I think Cali is better at one of those topics, I'm gonna give a point to Cali. That way you guys can see, you know, based on what you like and how important those five things are, where you should go. But to be honest, like I said, it all really comes down to one thing, which I'm gonna circle back in the end and let you know. I'm gonna try to keep this video short because these videos kind of get out of hand with me doing reviews and stuff. So I'm gonna try to keep this one short, but look, at the end of this video, you'll know where you need to go. All right, guys, so for anybody who's been watching me for a minute, you guys know I like to just kind of go all over the place. So if I get a little off topic, bear with me. We're going to bring it back. But first, nightlife. So nightlife is one of the hardest ones. I got to start there, though, because I think it's top, top of most people's list. So nightlife, they're so different. But at the same time, they both give a great experience. Nightlife, I'm going to have to go ahead and I'm going to have to get I went to Medellin. Hear me out. Anybody who's seen my Cali videos, you'll know nightlife in Cali is no joke. It's super, super lit and you could get active literally in different neighborhoods. The thing is, they're so different. So Cali nightlife is really based around being outside, being social, live music, things like that. Medellin nightlife is based on that hardcore, you know, clubs, modern nightclubs, modern um, everything bro like the lights everything it's more of a, like that hollywood feel you get from being in medellin whereas in cali it's more like like backyard vibes like you know you're in a city uh you know you're in your hometown and somebody says hey we got a street party a block party that's more of the vibes now i do give the disclosure that cali has those nightclubs too they have upscale nightclubs and all that stuff so you can get that too if that's what you want but i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna give this one to medellin off the fact that medellin has that up-to-date like super um modern feel you know they got provenza they got uh Problao, Parque Jerez, all of that stuff so it would be impossible for me not to go with medellin over cali now like i said cali is holding its weight in this category but if you really want like that i get your flicks off and you want to dress up and you want to go out and you want to have a girls night you want to get a bottle service and you want to be like you know in your designer stuff that's going to be Medellin for you. And I feel like a lot of my viewers are more angled to that. So I'm going to go ahead and just get out one to uh, Medellin. Now, if you want that more local feel, if you want to be amongst the people, if you want to really have a great time in the streets and just drink it to the morning time, that's Cali. But we're giving that one to Medellin. All right, guys, next I'm going to go with food because I'm a big foodie. So I got to do this one. Look, so food, again, Medellin and Cali, they both contenders. But I'm going to go ahead and get this one to Cali. Cali. Food out here is amazing, man. I'm talking about seafood, chicken. They got traditional Colombian, like the mainstream Colombian food, all of that stuff, the rice, chicken, all that, they have that. But they also got a flair because you guys have been watching, I'm also going to this festival out here called Petronio Alvarez. And that's basically ce celebrating like the Pacific culture, which is a lot of, you know, black influence. So you get that good seasoning and the seafood that comes from, you know, they have a lot of rivers and seas over there. So it's right across, it's right across the land, uh, Pacific coast. So, you know, they're definitely known for seafood and you could get a bunch of that out here in Cali because a lot of people who are from there live here and it's all over the city. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get out one in Cali. Medellin, you're gonna be able to get some great traditional Colombian dishes. Um, I think it's called bendeja and paisa, um, uh, calentao, like those type of things. Medellin, you're gonna get it, but I think I can't, it can't beat the diversity in the food here. It can't beat the flavor in the food here. And it can't beat that seasoning. That seasoning is different. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out to Cali. If you're a foodie, definitely you wanna take that into consideration that you're gonna get a better bang for your buck out here in Cali when it comes to food, no question. Number three, guys, is things to do. Now, things to do, I thought was gonna be an easy one. I thought it was gonna be an easy one. But one thing I do think Medellin has working against it is it's just so, um, it's so mainstream and it's so like, 
it's so touristy you do forget how many things there are to do because i was going to hand down and give this to one of cali because i came out here for the first time this year and i was like man there's so much stuff to do and it's so it's so much stuff to learn and like it was almost like not even being colombia it was like being into a whole different country but then i had to really think about it when i was comparing things to do and i realized medellin has a lot of things to do also it just takes one leaving the super touristy areas and two actually you know making it a priority to do those things so i would say medellin got things to do medellin is going to take the crown on this one and i'll explain why i was putting them up like side by side and i was taking medellin got comuna 13 it got guatape which is like a two hour ride from um from the actual city center it has all these little neighboring um communities that you could go to um then it has the the mainstream stuff florao provenza it got all of those stuff and it got museums and it's just so much history there that you could really really pack your day with things to do most people don't though that's the problem most people go to medellin and they can stay in their room all day because the nightlife makes up for with things to do during the day but there's a bunch of stuff that you could actually do in medellin now cali on the other hand cali why i was gonna give cali the the, the point for this and it's just, it felt just short is because a lot of the things to do are like explore based which they kind of trump the other things out in Medellin, at least in my mind, because you forget those things. Like when I go to Comuna Tres, I'm just like, you know, it's all based around parties, but I think the activities to do in Cali, a lot of them are based around um, learning and being outside of your comfort zone. So you may be going to a hike up the park to get to the top of the hill or see a view, or you may be going to um, a close city by like, like Buenaventura, you could go to a, a close city by like Buenaventura is like two hours away. You could go check that city out. There are a lot of things to do, but at the same time, I don't know if it's beating Medellin. I think Medellin is just so packed with things to do that it, it's going to have a hard time knocking out Medellin. So yeah, we're going to get that one to Medellin. All right, guys, number four, prices. Um, I mean, you guys probably could guess that Cali going to take this by landslide, man. I mean, I just watched a movie for three fifty. I don't know if the video is out, but I literally went to the movie theater and I couldn't do the math because it was so cheap. I was like, wait, am I doing the math wrong? But I wasn't. The math was on point. It was $3.50 to go see the new latest movie out. So, I mean, that just goes to show you how cheap it could get out here in Cali. Um, I don't even know if it's much to say more about Medellin. Medellin is a tourist area. You're going to get a lot of... Um, you're gonna get a lot of haggling, you're gonna get a lot of price gouging. That just comes with the area when you go into such a tourist known place. So, I mean, that's, that's I don't know if there's much more to say about that. Prices in Cali, uh, most of my Ubers were like $3 or less. I put the stamps up there, I put the receipts so you guys know what it is. Bro, my meals were super, super like, most of my meals were $10 or less. I'm talking about at chain places too. Like I'm talking about at hot, like well-known places that are kind of like the fancier restaurants in um in, in Cali. I went to this place called, um, I think it's called, oh, I'm, I'm forgetting the name. I think it's Leno, Leno y Cabron. I think that's the name of it, but I got a big meal with a drink under $10, man. I mean, you can't beat it out here. You're really gonna get the bang for your buck. So Cali got that one. All right, guys, I promise I was not gonna make this video long. So we're gonna jump into number five, guys. So this is now officially the tiebreaker. Let me get a drum roll, please. Weather. It goes to Cali. Boom! There we go. We got it. Cali 3, Medellin 2. I give weather to Cali because obviously, man, it's almost like if they call Medellin eternal spring, I call Cali eternal, eternal summer. And I just say that, man, because every day, let me give you guys a quick show. Every day is like this. Beautiful. Every day is a beautiful day out here, guys. So if it, it really depends, guys. If you are more into uh, summer weather, then... Cali's for you. If you are more into spring weather, Medellin is for you. For me, I love summer. I love hot places. So Cali, get that point, hands down. Camera's taking a little breather, so we just finished this here. So look, man, like I said, right now we got three, two in favor of Cali. Um, I'm gonna just say, look, this is my list. This is my personal list. So I'm telling you right now, it very much depends on what you're into. It all comes down to one real thing, and that's what type of traveler you are. Because if you like a certain thing, I may not like a certain thing and vice versa. So keep that in mind, man. If you come into either Cali or Medellin, look over to those five points and kind of make your own point system so you can figure out which one you, could, you should go to. And probably biggest advice that I did not mention is how many times have you been to either one? If you've been to Medellin more than two times, I, I highly recommend you go to Cali. 
If you've been in Medellin, you did all this stuff, you did Camino Teresa, you did all that, you went to Guatapé, you did that stuff. Come to Cali, check it out, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Look, man, it's your boy El Chacan. Do it on YouTube, not a YouTuber. Me on it. What's up, guys? If you like the shirt you see me wearing in this video or any of my other videos, check out the description box below to get yours.